This is Computer Insider. I'm Bob Pritchard. This is one of the most interesting times of the year. Kids heading back to school, leave starting to turn, and of course a new array of smartphones coming into the marketplace. It used to be that product launches at this time of the year were pretty much limited to Apple, but as the products coming out now will figure predominantly over the Christmas shopping season, everybody wants to get in on the act. This year, we can look for new product offerings from both Apple and Samsung. Let's start a discussion with Apple and the new iPhone 5S. Based on previous experience, Apple's past S models have featured the same shell as the core model, though it will have different features and slightly different tech specs. Once again, it seems that this will be the case for the 5S. It isn't expected to differentiate itself much from the iPhone 5, although it should have a better camera and slightly faster processor. Look for launch date on or about September 10th. Some reportedly leaked images of the iPhone 5S prototypes appear to show an image in a hardware configuration that suggests Apple is moving things around to make space for a bigger battery or extra features such as NFC. And by the way, if you're unfamiliar with NFC, it lets smartphones and similar devices establish radio communications with each other by touching them together or bringing them into proximity of each other, usually no more than a few inches. This would let you exchange data or other information with the usual setup hassles. Apple decided to withhold NFC from the iPhone 5, and since both the Samsung Galaxy S3 and S4 have arrived touting the new connectivity, Apple may want to incorporate it this time round. Some reports say the iPhone 5S will feature a Super HD screen along with a range of colors similar to the iPod Touch range. Now turning to the other side of the column, look for Samsung to introduce a new Mega 6.3 smartphone, once again blurring the boundaries between smartphones and tablets. Samsung says the Mega is a hybrid that combines the portability of a smartphone with the immersive experience that a tablet offers for movies, books, music and games. Phones of this side are typically referred to as phablets. The Mega includes many features available in other recent Galaxy phones. That includes multi-view, which allows multitasking in a split screen, and easy mode, which reduces the number of features and increases choices for new smartphone users. The Mega debuted last week in the US with a price of over $150 with a two-year service contract. It launched in Europe and Russia in May. Reporting for Computer Insider, I'm Bob Pritchard. Oh.